So here we have a 1989 Buyer's Guide, Electronics Gaming Monthly. Today I'm going to be looking at uh, some different retro game magazines. Probably, I don't know if it's going to be mostly uh, Electronics Gaming Monthly, but maybe I'll take some other stuff out too. Should I go through every issue of Nintendo Power? I think I have most of them. But this is, uh, I think, what would be the first issue of Electronics Gaming Monthly. We were looking at this a little bit the other day. And it had, uh, there's Bionic Commando, which I did on stream. Bionic Commando was a really good game. Actually, wait a second. That screenshot is from, I think, the arcade version, actually. A sleeper sensation when it debuted in arcades last year. That's funny because that screenshot is not the NES version. Although, look, it says NES. Guardian Legends. I have to stream that one day, I know. Oh, well, it'll happen one day. Here's the Simon's Quest. Where they say, what did they say about it? Multiple levels of high re resolution animation and gameplay are combined with the new incentives and power ups that make the Castlevania theme even better than before. Uh huh. They're saying Castlevania 2 is better than the original Castlevania. And here they have a competition of what the best games are. Best game of the year, Double Dragon. I do like the, that end part with the uh, machine gun Willy is really difficult to do. I think that's the Wicco controller. Not a butt plug, believe it or not. Looks like a butt plug. So does this, I guess. That one really does. I have quite a few of those. You know. They're not too good for uh, playing games with, but they're great for sticking up your ass. So I'd recommend that if you're looking for anything to stick up your ass. It's like perfect, perfect for that. Chats here. Thank you. Dollars to Donuts and Poter Omega for the subs. Do I have the freedom stick? Oh, you know I do. You know I got that stick. Gauntlet. I tried messing around with the Sega Genesis version of Gauntlet. Gauntlet 4. And I was like, ugh. I think I maybe, maybe the NES one's the one I should do. There's different versions of Pac-Man on NES. One of them's pretty rare. I think the regular one, or the, or the regular Miss Pac-Man or something. Thanks, Casper. Look at this guy. This guy's fucking cool. You know what this guy does? He beats up nerds. This guy will kick my ass. <laughs> Are they telling the story of Doki Doki Panic here? Actually, since this was new, it looks like they're more comparing it, making comparisons. I think they're comparing it more to like regular Super Mario Brothers. The Competition Pro, I have this one. It's very, from what I remember, it's a very clicky. Oh, there's the box. I haven't seen the box before. Life Force is still a great game. I like that. I like Salamander. Sal Dude, Salamander, too. 
Here's the freedom stick. There you go. Look at that. You wanted to see the fucking freedom stick. There you go. Look, Ma. Emma. Emma, check out my stick. What are you doing in here? You like how this Italian kid's grandmother, mother, sounds like Elmo? <laughs> what are you doing in there? I'm handling my stick. Get out of the bathroom. Your brother's got to use it. What scent is the candle by my side? Says Zombie 8. This is... Vampire blood. Would you like to see the candle? Will it focus? Vampire blood. The fuck else would I have for a candle? It does actually smell quite a bit like vampire blood, too. Got Blaster Master. So, what is. The, okay, chat. What is your opinion on Blaster Master? Because I played through. A lot of it. And I remember getting to a water area in it, and it was just like. It's like a cool idea, a cool concept, but I don't know. I got like halfway through it, and I was like, ugh. Like later in the game, it gets to be kind of like. I don't know. Centrifugal Bumble Pop says Blaster Master 1 is fun, you managed to beat it, beat it legit. Randy Hathaway says he never made it very far. Yeah, I think I made it like halfway. Yes, Red Zero. What's up, Barry? Nice stream. Psychotic Cock subbed. Thank you. He says, yo, Mike, it's your favorite viewer. Another month with the cock. Thank you. That's perfect. It's good. There's a lot about Double Dragon in this issue. Is it on the cover? Not even. Should be, for all they talk about it. Xenophobe. It's gonna be the game in the nerd movie, the beginning of it. They're worried about the rights of it. Seacross. Rambo 3. Oh, for the second Master System, right? People like that one. And again, about Double Dragon. The whole issue is Double Dragon, I swear to God. They, they should have. It should be. This, like, this right here should be Double Dragon. Like, every other fucking page in this is Double Dragon. This game I want to play through. I played maybe 10, 15 minutes of this one day on stream, and I was like, that's... Like, so I think it's Golvelius. Golvelius. I, what the first time I saw that, I, I, I would say Globulus. <laughs> I think it's Govelius, right? The similarity between Govelius and Zelda is quite apparent. Obviously, with the better graphics and larger memory available to Sega Master System, Govelius comes out on top. Well, we can debate that all day. It, it, it seems like a very good game, though. Sega Master System version of R-Type. I feel like the, home, the best home version of the original R-Type is the TurboGrafx one. That is Crossbow. Can we name all the games? Let's say Centipede, Crystal Castles, Pole Position, 
Millipede. Millipede centipede. Uh... Keystone capers? Maybe? Some football, basketball. Uh, who's this guy? Is that supposed to be Joust? That might be Joust. Tutankham? Or whatever the fuck, right? Maybe? Oh, here's... Dude, I have this. This is the Atari XE GS. I guess most people call it the XE. Oh, this is a whole ad for that, I guess. I don't... You know what? I haven't done the Atari XE stream yet, have I? I got... Forget... Is this Donkey Kong? Hmm. Tower Toppler. Oh, 7800. Yeah, I got that game. Elijah 97 subbed. And gifted a sub to Old School Geek. Thank you. And Rocky Man also subbed. Thank you. Getting a lot of subs here. Appreciate it, guys. Who can be the first to guess the music? There you go. Centrifugal Bumble Pop. Got it. Is Return of the Joker. Red Zero. Got it, too. Crossbow. Which, the actual arcade machine of this has a crossbow on it. It's, I love, like, real arcade machines. It's like, I don't know if you ever played, like, the real Satan's Hollow or, uh... I think Tron has like the throttle. This one had an actual crossbow. You know, a lot of games had like the guns and stuff. It's cool when the controller's different, is what I'm saying. See this? This is why. Listen, I'm gonna give you guys a tip. This is why I'm able to beat so many games. See what it says, nice guys finish last. Because I'm a fucking asshole. Remember that. Remember that. Wash your asshole and be an asshole. <laughs> now, who here who here likes blowjobs? Because this game here is all about blowjobs. If you ever if you ever wanted to know about sucking dick ring king is the game for you okay used to rent that game and i hated it <laughs> i hated i hated this fucking game cuz it's like this guy with the fucking yellow hair is like trying to suck your dick or something like that's literally what the game is I, I, it, it's a, you want to play a good boxing game right here you like these screenshots, by the way, too? Like, this is, like, taken off of a fucking CRT. This is awesome. <laughs> you like this fucking screenshot? Did somebody get fired? <laughs> nice fucking Gradius, like, screenshot. Thank you, Elijah, for gifting the sub out to White Mage. I like White Mages in games. They always, they always heal you. Always heal you up. Gotta have them on your team. All right, let me pick my favorite out of these games right here. Let me put it this way. If I was going to pick one to play right now, I'd probably go for Alex Kid. My problem with 1942 is the noise it makes. I, I prefer 1943. I, you want to know something funny? I got my NES Advantage from QVC. My parents ordered it from me. We saw it on television. Back in whenever, my late 80s, early 90s, or whatever.
Anybody get the game? Let's see if somebody gets or get the song. I don't think I have this. This is that's pretty cool. Hello QVC, I'd like to order an NES controller and some fake diamond jewelry, please. Yes, sir. High scores. Seems like nobody's getting the song. It's a uh, battle arena. Crescendon. All right, so that's that issue. We, we made it through one. We made it through one. So I think this issue is the is the first and came a little before this one. I think. So this is what most people consider to be the first issue. Electronic Gaming Monthly. So, uh, I always like, I kind of like this art, but I feel like they started to get it really right once Mega Man 3 happened. It, it, it's better than, this is better than the, the, first, <laughs> the first Mega Man art. See what we got here. See, look. When we were kids, this is the way a lot of kids used to do it. You have the TV. Everything was on the ground. You sit on the ground and do it. for that shit now. <laughs> Sit Indian style, like, you know, her legs crossed. Bringing the arcades home. I want that in my home. One of the most common dreams shared by diehard gamers everywhere would be owning a coin-operated arcane arcade game in their very own home with the quality of today's home games fast approaching that of arcades. Look at this fucking thing. Robo Warrior. Who is my longest sub? Uh not sure. It's a couple people that are my mods have been subbed to me for, since like for like five years or something. Yeah. We goofed. I really like your 89 buyer's guide and found, oh yeah, so this definitely, the buyer's guide definitely did come out first. And found the reviews and endorsements to be quite helpful and informative. There's a couple of things that I was wondering about. If I'm not mistaken, were you featured the Atari version of the Wicco Command Control, which we which we just talked about. That's the one about shoving it up your ass, if you guys remember. You guys remember that part? When I was talking about shoving that controller up your asshole from a few minutes ago. <laughs> okay. Also, could you please give me some information about the Bishu Zoomer joystick? Is that where they got zo the Zoomer from? Uh, I have that B stick. Actually, uh, I have to look around for it. I've used it before on stream at some point. And anyway, I saw it on your back cover, but didn't find anything about them. Oh, it's on the back cover of this? Here, hang on. I don't know which one in particular you saw. Which one is he talking Oh, the Zoomer one. This. Oh, that. No, I don't have that. 
So he's talking about this thing. I saw it on your back cover, but didn't find anything about it in the magazine. What's up with it? Boy, we really bit the bullet on this one. You're right, Charlie. That was an Atari joystick you saw in the buyer's guide issue. I guess playing Zelda 24 hours a day really hones your eyesight. Sorry about the slip up. For now, we'll blame it on the printer and say he mixed up the pictures. Oh, they're gonna blame it on the guy, the, just the dude who's just printing up magazines. It's good. Fucking guy has like nothing to do with anything. They're gonna. How, they, how about they take fucking responsibility? Regarding the, I know it's a joke. I, I I understand that the guy's fucking joking. I'm gonna get a comment later. There's gonna be a guy on the comments. Mike, did you know that that guy is actually just making a joke? He, he's being sarcastic. So am I. All right. So get your fucking tongue out of your own asshole. <laughs> How's it going, Jose? Better late than never. What's going on? I've been waiting for over a year now for my favorite arcade game, 720, to show up on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I've been reading about it. I see ads for it, and the guy at my local store doesn't have any idea when it'll be available. Can you help? Due to the chip shortage. They have having chip sh shortages back then. 1989. Same shit going on today. That's why we don't get the uh, PlayStation 5 or whatever the fuck, right? Same shit. Now this. If you have this in your house, this is how you can actually be cool. When all the ladies come into your bedroom and you're like into you're in this outfit with the stripes and you want to be really cool, don't even look over, just keep playing. Play cool, man. Play cool. By the way, I'm pretty sure I I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is Keith Apicary. <laughs> that's that's him. What is this? Instead of using joysticks and pads, the creative forces at Mattel have cooked up a glove that causes on-screen characters to react. I guess we're talking about the power glove. According to how the glove is manipulated. Should make Michael Jackson happy. It, that, it said that. It's Michael Jackson. Okay, right there. Data East shit. Aaron did a video all about Data East. Probably talked about all these games, so you should check that out if you're into Data East stuff. Data East. Data East. Konami. We're gonna rank them. Let's rank them, guys. You guys like to rank stuff? Let's rank the Capcom games. Hmm, what's better, Mega Man 2 or California Raisins? I'd put Mega Man 2 above California Raisins if I was ranking them. Sizzler. You guys remember fucking Sizzler? <laughs> Are there any Sizzlers like around anymore? That shit's like, I feel like they all went out of business. They had those like fritters and shit. It's corn fritters. <laughs> and the fucking salad bar. Sizzlers where old people eat. Hey motherfucker, that's where I eat. You leave me alone. Now, I haven't been to Sizzler for surprise since early 90s. I don't even know if they, do they even exist anymore?
Dr. Jacob says there's one in Los Angeles. Is there? My, my, Mappy Land. I, can, I, I like to play this game for about a minute and a half, and then I turn it off. I should, like, sit and try to make myself play through that whole game and beat it. Because I always turn it off. It's like you get the idea after level one. This fucking game with this kid running around. This game sucks. I don't like the original Star Soldier. Love the Star Soldier games, but I don't. that's the one I don't like. So, no, no. Fist of the North Star? I fucking did the, uh, wrote the fucking review for that and played through the fucking game for, I think that was that rhyming one. Um, Nerd Stole Christmas, I think that was the video. A long time ago. That was like, all right. And then Mappy Land. I guess out of these, I pick Mappy Land. I don't know. Nothing great there. This is the one. This is the... I like this game. This is a good... This is a pretty good little shmup for NES. Ultima. I like, like all the little art and stuff. I went through all of Bubble Bobble with Aaron. She has another channel. It's Aaron Plays Extras on YouTube. If you want to see us play Bubble Bobble, we, we beat it. At least one of the ways. There's, like, different ways you can beat it. Bump and Jump's fun. Good game. Heart is hard. Ease. Ease. Rastan. I did this, right? Or Volgar the Viking, or whatever the fuck. I think I did that. Time Soldiers? Huh. That looks like top-down Contra shit. This might be a good game. Here's a man-to-man -man shooter with a twist. Take the play mechanics of Akari Warriors. Oh, no. <laughs> and warp them back in time one million years. Wait, what? Take the play mechanics of Akari Warriors and warp it back in time a million years? <laughs> That's the funniest statement I ever fucking heard in my life. Because <laughs> that game is already slow and awful. Warp the gameplay mechanics even back even further. <laughs> That's what this game is. So they're so they're saying that this game is like the worst thing ever. Then. Because <laughs> they're not saying make them travel back in time. Because look, if they were going back to BC, they wouldn't have a fucking truck like this. Unless it travels through time periods, which it might. I mean, it's called Time Soldiers. Yeah, one million years BC to battle cavemen, dinosaurs. So they are talking about time travel. And shift to mythological creatures. Okay, and then you travel. So it's like turtles in time, and you eventually get to something like this. You think they could show a shot that's like uh, with the dinosaur or something? Look at these. What the fuck? Is it like mice? Colorful too. More of this bee stuff. Time Soldiers, the game that killed the dinosaurs. What happened to the dinosaurs? Zach McCracken. Oh, so they have like actual like some computer stuff. This is IBM. 
Amiga. Here you go. Here you got you fucking European people. Here you go. Here's your Amiga. Look, uh, look. Actually, this looks like a cool game. <laughs> I mean, it just—it looks like a vertical shmup. I would—I would try that. Commodore, si Commodore 64 Double Dragon. I bet that's just great. Actually, I, I'm pretty sure I tried that not too long ago. Not on stream. Oh shit, it's on Amiga too? I wonder if it's better. Cause th this game is dog shit on Sega Genesis. When I first began to play Sword of Sodan, I had some initial trouble learning how to effectively control my character. Nice ad to put you read that and you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to buy that. <laughs> At least they're honest. This, this is the briefcase one. I have this. Famicom. Got that. Zelda 2. Is it Carmen San Diego or something? And here's this shit again. All right, so that's the first issue. See how careful I am with it? I'm not throwing it around. Um, Electronics Gaming Monthly. Moving along. This is, I think this is the second issue. Yeah, this is the second issue. Check this out. Might go through this one a little faster. Mario 3. This is. Morton Koopa? Is that Morton? Why are the pages discolored? Um, because I jerk off onto them. So this is my dried cum. That's why. It has nothing to do with the age of the magazine. The fact that this magazine is from 1989 has nothing to do with that. Why, why is it discolored? Do you think, you think Mike your up onto it? <laughs> yes. That's all I do. Hey, Mylon Secret Castle. Adventure Island. I, I still say I think this is the hardest NES game that I've beaten. This game is brutal. I beat this, too. I beat all... Well, not this one. I haven't done that one yet. I beat all those, though. shortage true or false when Nintendo says there's a microchip sh shortage is there really a lack of chips or is Nintendo holding out on us while there is a chip shortage that currently has a stranglehold on many companies it's not entirely to blame many of the Quantity problems come from Nintendo's strict allocation program, which allows them to designate which games are good. Throwing fucking shade on Nintendo. 
They're like, yeah, there's a chip shortage, but Nintendo <laughs> are also a problem. <laughs> They're fucking saying. Dude, this is 1989. It Literally the same shit is going on. No fucking different. Nothing fucking changes. Possession crash. Thank you very much for the sub. And he says he's sub for one year. Thank you very much for sticking around. All right, so Steve, Ed, Don, and Jim. Let's pick a game. How about, well, any of these are good. How about Faster's Quest? Let's see what Steve has to say about Faster's Quest. Faster's Quest is not an exceptional action game. <laughs> the fighting is straightforward, and most of the real combat is between Fester and the boss aliens, who are next to impossible to beat. I beat this game. This guy sucks. It's like we're doing ASMR now. There are some redeeming features. Like when Lurch and the, the phone ringing and shit. The opening music's very good. The graph. Right, let's see what Ed has to say. The graphics are better than average, but the whole game doesn't supply much variety. The maze sequences are not complex. That's true. And basically only need to be walked through. That's a that's a good uh, observation. That's that's true. So far I like Ed's review better than Steve. Man, fuck Steve. <laughs> How about Don? There's not a lot of action in Fester's Quest. Uh I don't agree with that. You're continually fucking smash, like, tap, 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 tap. There's a lot of action. I don't, and there's bosses and shit. That's not true. You basically run around trying to find certain items and only stopping to fight a couple boss characters along the way. I mean, that's true, but there's, there's action. It's a slow game that doesn't have much action. You already fucking said that! This is your job to do this? You, dude, the blurb you have is like is like two sentences. And you fucking repeated yourself? Dude, f d fuck Don. Jim. Let's see how Jim does. Awesome music. Okay. I agree. But this one only has okay graphics. Fair. The game as a whole is all right, but the quest is just too easy. Uh, I wouldn't say that the game is easy. I would say it's like a, I would say it's like, I'm not gonna call it hard, but I'd say it's like, I don't think it's easy though. It's basically a bunch of mini quests that are easily beaten, tied together with very difficult boss characters that make the game unbalanced. Okay. I mean, that's kind of fair. All right, so... This is an... Uh, so, dude, it was... Ed. This is all about Ed. Ed Ed's the man here. <laughs> the chat's like, that's the page Mike jerks off on to. <laughs> Fucking mappy land. Oh my god. Ugh, I lied. <laughs> Look at this. this I can't remember what this game was about. That's all I can say. <laughs> Who the fuck wrote that? Oh, that was Ed again. I mean, you know what? I beat that game for the ABGN video, 
And to be completely honest, I I feel the same way. I I had beaten this game legitimately, and I don't fucking remember either. It's like the most forgettable thing. Flying Dragon, just another karate game. Dude, you, this guy is this, is that Don? Dude, he's a lazy. He sucks. Listen. Look look at all the other fucking people. Notice that look at this. This is shorter too. This is also Don. Dude, he's late. He's fucking lazy. <laughs> he fucking he's a lazy fucking reviewer. Like, come on. Like, look how short these blurbs are. You can at least fill this fucking box. Look, look again. This is also him. Look at all this extra space down here. Look, look, ev look at everybody else. Fills the fucking block up. Fills the block up. Look at this Ed. The fucking D Don sucks. This is famous. VHS to it to send around. And the books and all that. Talking about four player NES games. Oh, could you do Gauntlet on it like that? That's cool. The, the four score NES. Ooh, look at all this shit. This is good stuff now. I'm pretty sure this hat. Look at all this shit. I used to have that. I may still somewhere. These things always sucked because I always had too many games. You know, it's like you, you ha if you have 30 games, it's like how many does this fit? Like 10. You know, cool idea, but like you need like more than that. It's like a Tetris. Th this this fucking dude. How this? Look how fucking cool he is. Look at this fucking bomber jacket. Look at the look. Look at what what is in his eyes right there. He's got he's got a fucking helicopter coming towards him. Possibly two helicopters. He doesn't give a shit. He's gonna take him out. He's a badass. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Is this the art for this? That's funny that they did that. <laughs> they just give you the art. I should take that and use it for something. Simulator chair for the Konix slipstream. What is the Konix slipstream? Has anybody ever heard of that? Is that a fucking. Dude, wait a second. So you sit in this. Hold up a second. You sit in this, your head is here. And your legs are here. What is what is all this? What is this fucking machine? Um
I wish I had a piece of tracing paper because I'd put it on top of that and I would I would draw a character in there. <laughs> Fun time chair, my chat says. Very nice stream says, hey, that's uh, definitely something to stick your dick into. It's part of the Konex multi system. It, it was that a computer? Dude, I'm, hang on a second. I'm looking this up. I mean, maybe it says in the article. Let me look this up. The Konex multi system was a canceled video game system. That's why I don't know about it. It was canceled. It was British. Okay. That's why. All right. So something that was never released. I wonder why. Look at this dude. He's, he's like, I'm sitting in that fucking chair. Keith Courage. I should play through Legendary Axe. That's another one I gotta do. Shit. I remember liking that. The amazing Super Nintendo! That's not even the fucking Famicom. Look at this fucking model. Look at it. This must be like a prototype of the Super Famicom or something. Before it came out. Because this is 89. And that would have been like 91, right? So. They were like still working on it. That's probably like the first design of it or something. See this too. The Super Famicom and the original Famicom, I don't I have not seen that model before. What the fuck? I, okay, so I understand. Hold up a second. I understand this is probably like an early model of the Super Famicom, but what is this version of the original Famicom? Oh, can you even see it here? Like this? Do you guys know about that? That's fucking weird. I don't. If anybody has any information on that, let me know. That's very interesting. Because why would they... I could imagine them putting this next to what we know as the Famicom. But, like, that looks like... This looks like that... This looks like it goes with this. They look like they go together. That's just fucking weird. Anyway. Alright. Um, let's move on. Man, they were really pushing this thing. This is just a general overview of what Super Mario. I'm just, I was just looking to see if there's anything interesting. The face game. Is that what they call that? It's just all pretty general knowledge on Mario 3. Gradius 2. It's cool. This is like me when I'm fucking angry at games. <laughs> The amazing U-Force with Punch-Out. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. The 
glove pilot designed specifically for the powered glove controller. The what? The glove pilot for the power glove. trying to see if it said anything about the glove pilot. I don't see anything. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Un some unreleased thing or something. Manipulator, another game designed exclusively for the Power Glove. Look at that, some like Sunset Riders looking thing for the Power Glove. That never, I wonder if anybody like ever got a ROM of that. Dude, I wanna fucking do a Power Glove stream and play M Manipulator. <laughs> Fuck, this is crazy, huh? This is why I'm doing this, cause it's like, look at all this crazy shit. Dr. Wily's monster can be really nasty in Mega Man 1, but with this trick, you can easily cut him down to size when battling Wily's evil creation. Jump and shoot the monster in the, in the eye. Wow. That's not even, you, sh you fucking shoot the thing, the antenna on top, I'm pretty sure. This is the worst advice. This is, the, that's horrible. A anybody could figure, yeah, you jump and shoot. Who didn't, who can't figure that out? Okay, I'm going to write one of these. It's going to be Super Mario Brothers. In the original Super Mario Brothers, when you start the game, if you start walking to the right, there will be an enemy coming towards you. Jump on his head. That's it. That's the advice. Good, good fucking advice. This is the wor that's the worst thing I've ever fucking seen. Ring King. Is there anything saying anything about getting fucking dick sucked? This controller. Controller code is a bit complicated. Okay, so to be invincible in Ring King. Here's an easy way to rack up mega points on Mile and Secret Castle get the crystal ball and then die on purpose before continuing hit either fire button use a turbo stick for this and your score will soar into the stratosphere that one's interesting i didn't know about that that's a good one ed probably wrote that and don wrote this you know The different endings, and we know about this. Oh, there's codes for the different endings. I'm sure you can easily find that. Metroid Strange Code. This special code lets you do unusual things like get bombs without having the ball. There's no varia with this code, which makes it harder to reach the ending. Just codes, yeah, that's fine. Desert Falcon. I wonder how this game is. Is that even is that on NES? What what is Desert Falcon? I would try this. Desert Falcon. Anybody know? Ooh, a bunch of Mega Man stuff. I like this sort of Woodman stage map. That's cool. Woodman, a Mega Man 2 boss attacker. <laughs> Not a robot master. 
but a boss attacker. Oh, the chickens in the star. And yeah, you guys know about that one, right? You can make the stars into like chickens or whatever. That's an old thing. Gorilla War. Played through that with Aaron too. That's that's a pretty fun game. It's crazy. It's Gorilla War. Gyrus. I could never get that into Gyrus. It's all right. I don't know. Maybe someday I'll get more into it. So if you ever play Gyrus, Gyrus, you like circle around the like the enemies in the middle. It's interesting, but I was never I don't know. I was never too into it. Aspire graph. I'm like looking in this castle. I'm like, what is is that? Um, Defender of the Crown or something? Oh, oh, King's Quest. It's King's Quest. Sorry. Let's see. Original. Usually they put the title of the game like up top so you know like. See, like Altered Beast, Vigilante. It's like, I guess you should know. It's not that there's not a castle in like every fucking game that ever existed. Now this is how you can be truly cool. Galactic Conqueror! <laughs> I want to fucking play that. I gotta get. We, I gotta get uh, some mega shit. The, that. Oh, here you go. Look at that. That's cool. I have that sitting around somewhere. All these stupid things. Boy, if you didn't like Skate or Die already. <laughs> Fuck. I'd rather play this one. Double dribble. I wonder what that sounds like on this. Ah, 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 ah. The Super Famicom uses a newly developed controller that has a set of four buttons arranged in a diamond formation. You, you know, it's funny to think of that now, but it's like how everything is now and how brilliant of a idea that was. It's like the perfect fucking, you know, like it's perfect. Like there you go, it's a fucking diamond. And you can, you can do this and shit. Is the, it, this, the look at this controller? This is what you want. This is beauty. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty. This is pretty much what I look like when I went to school. That's how I would dress. My, my Nintendo shirts and my Nintendo bags. Here I come. Here comes Mike Matei to fifth grade. All right, there you go. So that's issue two. Okay, Don, what did he say? Don says, they've got to be kidding. The graphics are subpar and the gameplay is average at best. There needs to be more substance for a game like this to succeed. None of the game elements deliver any real punch. Let's see what Jim said. Friday the 13th gameplay is awful. The graphics are plain and you don't need to apply any strategy to beat the game. Just wear down Jason. Steve. Friday the 13th could have been excellent with blood spurting knives and slashing. What we get instead is another boring Goonies 2 ripoff. Oh, wow. Well, that's a fucking insult. 
that is just plain dull. I have never seen somebody insult something more than that. It, like, you can say terrible shit to somebody, like, you know, you can curse somebody out with horrible words and stuff, but this, it, that is a fucking biting fucking comment. Boring Goonies 2 ripoff. That is the worst thing you could say about anything or anyone ever. Wow, he's fucking brutal. I kind now I kind of like Steve again. Oof. The whole game is slow and tedious to play. The game could turn even Jason's stomach. Good job, LJN. You, you know what? Even back then, they were ripping apart Friday the 13th. How about that? Guardian Legend. Now, let's see if I still like Steve, because this game I know is good. Let's see what he says. He says, I like Guardian Legend as a shooter that dishes up a little more than blast them up, booms and bangs, including some action adventure elements, and even the second half of the game is slightly average. Helps elevate the whole title to a much higher level. So he's like, he likes it, but doesn't like love it. What about Ed? Guardian Legend is a shoot 'em up Blaster Master clone that is only average at best. The vertical scrolling flying sequences add variety to an otherwise non spectacular game. Jeez. <laughs> How about Don? While it has good intentions, Guardian Legend is, takes a simple theme and draws it out into a repre repetitive quest with a shooter. I, I will say, it, it is like a little bit long of a game. This one would have been better as a pure shooter. Uh, no. Well, I don't... I don't particularly agree with what they're saying in these. Airwolf, Thundercade, King's Quest, Rastan, Legendary Axe. What did they say about Legendary Axe? Legendary Axe is one of my favorites. It combines an excellent theme with some of the best graphics and sound I've ever seen or heard for a video game. Uh, I don't know about that. This is how Rastan should have been done. Offering multiple paths, an attack meter that takes time to build, and numerous hidden pitfalls. Axe is not as easy as it appears to be. It's hard, but fun. And with only three continues, it remains challenging. See, I wanna, I, I'm, I gotta stream. We gotta do a legendary Axe stream. I'm, I, gotta, I gotta do that. Then we got Mario Land. What are they gonna say about Mario Land? I like Mario Land, so like they're gonna rip it apart, aren't they? Even though it's an, on a black and white two-inch screen, Mario Land is a fantastic game. All right, well that's good. Wow, Mario's back and he's portable. Easily the best ga Game Boy cart. Okay, so they're giving it good reviews. Okay, I was gonna say because I, I like that. I like Mario Land. People shit on Mario Land quite a bit. I, I think it's good. Double Dragon 2. Dude, D Double Dragon 2 is a great fucking game. That's a gear, that This is a good fucking game. Now, I think this is my favorite Double Dragon, I think, the second one. Um, let's see, Twin Cobra, I think. I think I like this game. I kind of forget. It's such a generic name, like I always... Dig Dug 2, DuckTales, oh, King's Knight, fuck, sneak preview on Ninja Gaiden 2, look how they separated it, they're like Ninja Gaiden, you assholes. <laughs> That's it. If I ever get a tattoo, it's gonna be oh, it'll be a, a, this fucking thing. F 
fuck is this shit? Oh, this is that Konex system. I'm gonna say for that fucking chair again. This is shit never came out. Dude, every every single piece of this just looks like some kind of fucking sexual, like. <laughs> Gradius 2. This is a cool little article. I like this. They show, show like all the bosses. That's pretty neat. Super Mario Brothers 3 Watch. Your favorite part of the old magazines was the bootleg experimental accessories. <laughs> Mike, I forgot how far did you get in F Zero GX Grand Prix? I know you didn't unlock AX yet. Uh, Master Shake, I'm gonna eventually be doing like a lot of F Zero GX stuff. Um, I'm gonna go back to F Zero GX, so don't worry about that. I know I, know I streamed it before, but I I'm, I'm gonna play more of that someday. I'll, I'll get really into it at some point. <laughs> It's definitely something on my agenda. Map for Wonder Boy. There's the Wizards and Warriors. See, this is the Iron Sword thing. This is what that is from. So here's the article on it. It's funny, like, if you look at how these screenshots look, you can tell that they're, somebody took a camera and just pointed it at the TV I guess and got got the images that way I would I would think that's what it, they look that's what these screenshots look like I like marble madness I wish it didn't hurt my hand so much I still think it's good. Even though it hurts my hand, I still think it's a good game. The NES one I'm talking about, by the way, because playing it with the D-pad, you know, because in the arcade, it's like a trackball thing. I played Cloud Master. That game's pretty fun. Spellcaster, that looks kind of interesting. I've never played this, but uh, that this looks like it might be an alright game. Wonder Boy, I've played some of the Wonder Boy stuff. Not all of it, but... Defender of the Crown, it's always funny. Here, ooh, here you go, Legendary Axe. Look at this. The greatest action adventure of all time. It is a good game. <laughs> cool. Cool graphics and shit. Genesis Sizzles. That was the, the old show, right? What did it say? CES. Consumer Electronics Show. Look at that. That's cool. Study these maps to beat the first world in Super Mario Land. Nobody's gonna do that, but I appreciate the art and the illustration. I appreciate the efforts. So, like so they made them do this for the magazine, you know. <laughs> but you know, I wonder if this this art was taken from like anything, or if they drew that for this. I don't know. The, 
the, the links. There's me again. Oh, yo. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the giant. Uh, I might be thinking of a different machine, but I've seen a pinball machine that's like insanely huge. I, I feel like it might be this game. It's cool that though that they have some pinball stuff in here. Black Knight 2000. I'm thinking of Hercules. Oh, is it Hercules? Thank you, Neon Arcade. Sorry. I probably, you know what? I probably was somewhere that had this one too, and they also had Hercules or something. You know. I'm no pinball expert. This is definitely just photographed off of a, tel a CRT. You can tell. You almost see like the fucking the curve of the fucking CRT. I, I always loved this ending for Mega Man 2. You know, how, how he walks through the seasons. That is a great part of that game. Anyway, so that is issue three. Let's take a look at the next issue. What else do we got? We got issue, do I have issue four? Uh, yes, number four. So th now we have, you know what that is, ghouls and ghosts. Oh my god. It's like, it looks like real Ghostbusters or something. It was a Robo Warrior. <laughs> Shit was so fun back then. I feel like, like stuff doesn't have like the same sort of sense of like fun, you know, anymore. They use this in Nintendo Power a lot. Disagrees with Don? Oh, we gotta read this. You probably won't print this, but I hope you do. In issue number two, I think the Reggie Jackson baseball was misjudged. Not only does it deserve a 10, but it's very fun to play. The opposite of what Don said. Okay, I'm not a sports guy, but there's a lot of people that are. So I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know I hadn't played that game. Uh, but this this dude seems to think that that game's really good, and and judging by Don's previous reviews, I would say I love this. This disagrees with Don. <laughs> Me too, dude. I want to write into this magazine. I want to disagree with Don. That's fucking great that they printed that. We appreciate your comment, but uh, fuck you, sincerely, Don. <laughs> now let's see what's up. The main reason our multiple player review format is to give you the ability to read the opinions of several gamers who each have different likes and dislikes. You know what? I think that that's fantastic because it's true. Um, everybody's got different opinions, you know, and different feelings about games. I certainly am very opinionated and have my opinions, you know, about games. So I think that that's great that they have reviews from like several different you know people from with different points of view don happens to just be fucking terrible but that's all right i mean the fact that they're having people write into the magazine that they're being like they're like no <laughs> but no but i like that and it shows that you know that, that this was a cool you know that they cared that they did something like that they're like because they could have been lazy about it and been like, oh, we'll just have one person review this shit. Who cares? The fact that they had four different people do it, that's that's good. I like that. TMNT! Oh, shit. I have this. Oh, Don. Oh, okay. Let's go down the list. I, ha I have to know. 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a decent... This is Steve. It's a decent game that has some adequate action sequences that get bogged down by adventure aspect of play. What? Nothing about the game is revolutionary. That's not true. But it does possess some nice qualities and familiar characters. Okay? I mean, it's not scathing. Ed. The name says it all. Combine the trendy characters with a fun-to-play game and you get an instant hit. With Party Wagon for wheels and pizza to eat. This guy's Ed is not... This is a lazy Ed review right here. He's, he's saying nothing. This is... You guys like Ninja Turtles? You like pizza? All right, I'm done. Come on, Ed. You can do better than that. I've seen you do better than that. I'm, I'm a little disappointed now, Ed. All right, here comes Don. Let's see. TMNT wasn't overly impressive. I thought it would have been much better considering all the hype. The gameplay and graphics are nice, but the whole cart didn't meet my expectations. I was expecting more. Dude, fuck this guy. Did he ever fucking listen listen to the fucking music when you fucking turn that game on? It's amazing. Did he did he he didn't even fucking say anything. He said fucking nothing. me off. Fuck him, man. Fuck out of my face. What's the last guy say? Jim, the controls are too jerky and it quickly becomes difficult to control your characters. No, it doesn't! The auto, the scrolling hinders the game. No. By placing you in vulnerable positions. What? Where? When? The intermissions are cool, but the rest is a disappointment. Dude, fuck these people. Fuck this. Fuck them all. Actually, no. Steve was pretty good about it. Ed didn't care. I, I can't... I'm not gonna... Whatever. Steve and Ed are still fine, but D Don... Dude, of course. Fucking Don. Dude, fuck him. Now I, now I went from, like, jokingly... Um... Now I went from jokingly like shitting on Don to I, I actually don't like Don now. I think he's a terrible person. Fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, look at these. <laughs> These are great. 
By the way, the original fucking Batman cover would have looked like that. That's so much better. There's a way to improve NES Batman. Make the cover of fucking that instead. These are these are great. I like this one. I mean, I like that one. I like all. I like all of them. Look at this, how you plug the uh, headphones into the bottom of the controller. In a hundred years, somebody's gonna buy this set of vintage gaming magazines at an antique store and find that post-it note in it. Good. <laughs> Good. And hopefully they, they find this stream too, and then they can hear me talking about it. <laughs> Dude, you guys... This is the tattoo I'm gonna get. Right on my, right on my fucking arm. Right fucking there. Dude, I wanna, I'm gonna take that out and fucking get that right on my fucking arm. Dude. <laughs> hey, the FM Town's computer. I have the console. I don't have the. I don't have that. I love how the bosses look in our type. So always, always coming back in, into my life. I can't, I can't get away. <laughs> this fucking, this fucking guy. Is that me? Nah, no, that's not my nose. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Begin your adventure in the haunted ruins. Is this the NES one? I guess this is the NES one. Oh no, Genesis. Oh, Ghouls and Ghosts, I'm sorry. This is, so this is the second one. Which I think I did that on stream. I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, they got a lot. They have a lot on this. That's, that's cool. They did a nice job on this. Dude, look at how all these screenshots, they had to do one after the other. This was a lot of work to put that together like that. Oh, my God. And the way they probably had to get this into the magazine. These, like, this was probably hard to do, to, to make this look like this, you know? I got, I got to like, hand it to the people that, you know, put these magazines together. Oh, shit, this page is coming out. These are old. The Rolling Rocker. How much was it? 50 bucks. Here's the old uh, Nintendo trophies. I used to I used to collect these. If you ever go back and watch the old uh, some of the early nerd episodes, uh, if you watch, jeez, oh, I don't remember what episode. Maybe the Bible games one or like um, Top Gun or something. Um, some of the some of these I, I used to dress the set with those. I just like those trophies. Hide Lide. Once again. Game sucks. Bad dudes. Dude, I don't I don't I also don't like that. <laughs> I never did. I, I've tried it a couple times on stream. And it's just it's I don't know. I don't think it's very good. Are you bad enough? I 
Oh, yo, this might be a light... Is this a light gun game? Because Master System has a lot of really good light gun games, let's see. I'm assuming you can? I don't think it even says. I'm assuming that that must be a light gun. Is there a way to capture Link's stuff yet? I'd like to do a stream of that someday, but I don't know how to capture it. Or maybe there's, I don't know if there's, a, if there's some kind of out on it or anything. I never bothered to look, so I should look. Backland. Here you go. This is all good shit. This is the shit. This is the shit I really fucking love, dude. Like, oh my god. Look at that. This is be This is like beautiful. I fucking love the turbo graphics and the PC engine and shit. Oh my god. Just record it like you do your CRT sometimes. Yeah, but it would have, like, glare on it and shit. That's a problem with that. This is a good game. I like blazing lasers. If you want to play a fun Turbo Graphics game, that's definitely, definitely a very good one. Until R-Type arrives a few months from now, the sure thing for shooter fans on the turbo on the turbo will be blazing lasers. Yep. The only fault that could be found with blazing lasers was the degree of difficulty at which the game progresses. I mean, sure. It's a fucking shmup. <laughs> like, they're hard. You know? That's why you, that's why you play them over and over and get better at it. It's like, that's kind of the thing. <laughs> it's a little hard, though. Thunder Force 2. Thunder Force 4, like, the, the later, like, Thunder Force 4, and then I did a stream on 5. 5 was real cool. I don't think I've streamed the 6th one yet, which is PlayStation 2, one, one day. Blazing lasers kick so much ass. Yeah, that's great. I couldn't barely tell what this was for the California games. Electro Cop? <laughs> what the f I don't even know some of these. Dude, this screenshot is awful. Lynx's Rampage Deluxe. Rampage on the Lynx. Well, oh, well, that's why. Oh, these are all Lynx. No wonder the screenshots are so fucking bad. Because somebody's taking a picture of... That's what it would look like if I streamed it. It would look like shit. Dude, this looks like somebody pissed on the fucking screen. Ooh. Look at this one. Mario 2. Alright, so that's issue... That was issue four. We're gonna move on to issue five. Moving along. So here we got, this is issue, or I'm sorry, issue six, wait, was that issue five? I guess that was issue five. This is issue six now. You know, is out of order? Wait a second. Was that issue five? I'm even on it. I don't know. Anyway, um, 
All right, this is issue six we're gonna do. So, of course you have uh, NES Batman. fucking burn the magazine and the fucking candle over here with my vampire blood. Put that out. Controversy. Oh, cover story. I thought it said controversy for a second. I was like, what the fuck is the controversy of Batman the video game? I was like, I'm gonna read that. Oh my god. I went to his retirement home once. <laughs> I swear to God, it's in LA. Hey, Aaron, you want to go to Larry Fine's retirement home? Sure. That'll be a fun day, huh? Really fun. Whoop, 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 whoop. She's going to jump out of a window. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said you're going to jump out of a window. Okay. Hey, we could, do, we could both do that together at uh, when we're at Larry Fine's retirement home. Oh, that would be nice and romantic. You wouldn't it? Yeah, what a way to go. Hey. Roadrunner and Coyote. I don't want to miss anything here. Let's not miss anything. Mega Man Strider. Rolling Thunder. Last Duel. Scheherazade. DuckTales. Oh, what? Oh, look at it. They got rid of Don. Now Martin. <laughs> they fucking fired him. <laughs> Yo, I was shit. <laughs> Yo, look. Wait, if I can find this, we're. Hang on a second. Oh, where is that? Which issue was that? Okay, so this is this guy. Yeah. So this is what they do in this magazine. They get different um, people to review games. Yeah. Because they they're like, we don't want just one person's opinion. We think it would be better yeah. if it was a bunch of people's opinion, but that, which I agree with. I think that's a good way to go about it. Yeah. So there was this one guy in the old issues, Don, and he would always leave, like, awful reviews. <laughs> I said, fuck you, Don. So he left this review of TMNT, and it's, yeah. like, this shitty fucking review. And in the other magazines, he, um... He had shitty reviews of the games too, so we were just like laughing about how bad of a fucking his opinions are <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. And then you get to this issue. He's in all the other issues, and now look, it's a he's Martin. gone. They fucking fired him. Replace him with Martin. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That is fucking funny. Anyway, I just want to see the Batman part of this. Oh, here's Jekyll and Hyde, $44.99. Dude, those are those cool posters again. Mega Play. That was a magazine, right? That's like an ad for Mega Play magazine. I'm pretty sure that was its own magazine. Golden Axe. Ghouls and Ghosts. They keep showing the same stuff. Ooh, a poster. Sort of a poster. That's cool. It's the first time I've seen a poster in one of these. Neat, neat, neat. They're trying to compete with Nintendo Power now. <laughs> yeah. Revenge of Shinobi. I wonder if they have an... Is that... Oh, that's right. I forgot the Godzilla thing is in that. Forgotten World. Rambo 3, Mystic Defender. Look at, look at that ad. Now that's an ad. That's the way that, that's the way they did shit back then. That's all you need. That, you get the point? Right? <laughs> Mega play. There's a legendary axe, which I gotta, I gotta stream for sure. Where is this Batman part? This is the, this is that kid from that fucking Sega, or not Sega, from that uh, Atari Jaguar game. Someone else play Power. Love. Oh, that fucking game for the power glove. Here, Batman. The Dark Knight wages war on the Joker in Batman the video game. Dude, this this shit is awesome. Look at that. 
I, lo I just, I love that game so much. There he is. Now you guys know why I have these magazines. I mean, like, I love, I love Batman on NES. Oh god, this, this one. You guys know this, this game with the, with the huge sprites on screen. That one's so funny. It has another name too. It's like Kung Fu something. It's like two names. Galaga 90. It's cool. I played that before. I like that. Fucking how many ads can you have for Hide Lied? Kung Fu Heroes. Maybe I should. I'm like tempted. I don't, I'm not going to do it, but I almost want to like take that out and put it on my wall behind me. I'm not going to do it though. I don't want to ruin the magazine. Anyway, um, so that's six issues. I'm actually going to stop there, guys, uh, and we can look at some more of these later. I got, just so you want to know, so you know, I've got, <laughs> I've got quite a, quite a few that we could do. So just this is just Electronics Gaming Monthly. So I got other magazines too. But anyway, uh, and this would be the next one if we get to the next one. Or next one that I have, I guess. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Say hi to Don for me if you see him. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. I should do it this way. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.